I wanted to show you a few examples of formative assessment that I've used in my own elementary classroom. My county um, is blessed enough to use quaver music as our curriculum and it has a lot of built-in things that we can use to assess quickly on the fly or to assign as, as a more formal assessment um, via student interactives on their iPads. All of these I've used both um, on my interactive whiteboard to do a quick assessment and also assigned as an assignment to send to the students iPads that then sends me feedback right to, um, to my account. This first one is um, something I use with pitch when I'm talking to my little bitties, um, especially kindergarten, first grade, and hearing the difference between just different high and low sounds. And so they listen to the bell, have to place it in the right order, um, from descending to up, ascending, check it, we did it. Um, what's great about this particular interactive is that I can quickly assess but then differentiate if a child if that's easy for them if it's hard they can stay with it for a while if it's easy they can jump to the next level and they just have to put them in the right order and if they do that and then check it and see uh oh I made a mistake somewhere I'll listen again oh, that doesn't sound right and they check it and they're ready to go um, of course, it goes up to level three, which is the full octave, um, and I'm not going to do that now for time's sake. I've also used um, Quaver to assess feeling the steady beat, which can be so tricky for the little ones. Um, they have different styles they can listen to. Little pop piece. And they click, uh oh, wrong guy. Let's hear it again. We got it. And then. Try bouncing on a trampoline. And they did it. Um, another one I've used is when I'm working with my second graders and we're learning meter, strong beat and weak beat. Um, we talk about the connection music has to math and how we can divide um, beats into groups and we call those measures and the number of beats in each measure um, determines the meter that we're playing in and then we feel the strong beat um, in the beginning of each measure and we go through and we talk about that as it relates to each of the the three meters that we talk about, two, three, and four. Obviously, we don't do this one. Um, but then we practice feeling it and hearing it. And these are just a few ways that we use formative assessment quickly in the elementary classroom.